what's going on guys? Welcome to the electric guitar tutorial for Rattle by Elevation Worship. And this is gonna be a more in-depth tutorial. I know the guys, uh, the guitar players for Elevation, Guitar 1 and Guitar 2, they already put out a playthrough of the song, but this is gonna be a little bit more of an in-depth tutorial of me um, kind of talking uh, over the different parts and really kind of explaining uh, what they're doing. Some of the things were a little intricate at the beginning of the song, especially and uh, I'm just gonna kind of walk through um, every little part that they played, and uh, let's jump right into it. So how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna break this tutorial down by electric guitar one, and then I'm gonna go through the whole song, and then I'm gonna go to electric guitar two. Electric guitar one is actually gonna be, he's capoed one. So this song is in E flat, and the first electric guitar player, he's actually capoing on the first fret and playing in the key of D. So he's the guy that's actually doing the picking part at the beginning. And by capoing on the first fret, that's gonna really help you achieve that, especially if you're playing in the key of E flat. So I'm gonna walk you through that uh, picking part that he does at the beginning, and it sounds like this with effects. By the way, I'm playing through my Line 6 Helix patch that I created specifically for this song. I also created the HX Stomps, the HX Effects, and Pod Go patch as well. If you have any of those, um, if you have any of those units, you can go ahead and download it straight from my website. The links are below. So I'm going to break down that uh, picking part for you and play it slow, and I'm going to play it um, without any effects on there. So what he's doing is he's playing that uh, D triad there. So if you would play your D chord like this originally, you put your middle finger where your ring finger was. So I'm gonna say that this is uh, zero and this is fret one, fret two, fret three. So your middle finger is on the third fret, B string. And then your first finger is on the second fret, G string. And then your ring finger is on the uh, fourth fret D string. And then your pinky is on the fifth fret um, A string. And so he's actually finger picking this. And so I'm gonna play it really slow. So how he's fretting it is he's kind of, he's using his middle finger and his pinky as anchor points. So these two fingers, your middle finger and your pinky don't change the whole time. So you basically anchor those down and you're really just bouncing back and forth between your ring finger pressing a string, letting go of a string, and your first finger pressing and letting go of a string. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm going back and forth between the open D string and the, um, the, a, the A string. So it sounds like this. So that opening line is I'm actually fretting my middle finger, my first finger, and my uh, pinky. So it's so it's A string, D string, A string, B string, G string. Those are the that's the order that you're picking the strings. So that's the first couple beats there. So then that part is you're actually letting go, uh, pull off. And you're fretting now your fourth fret there on the D string. And what you're doing is you're going back and forth between these. So I'm gonna play it slow. So then what you do on that second round there is you play your lowest string as your A string and then you skip a, f a string and you play the G string open. So it sounds like this. And then that's your B string. So 
it's kind of this endless loop. Once you get that first one, you can easily loop it after that. So it's... <laughs> Notice how I'm only really letting go and pressing on my ring finger and my first finger. And this is what it sounds like with effects. Cool. So when electric guitar one gets to the chorus, it sounds like this. So the chords I'm breaking down is I'm playing the D, it's actually a D5, so it's only the A string, D string, G string, and B string that's really ringing out, and I'm using my middle finger to mute the low E string. So that's what it sounds like. You can really dig in and it sounds really clean. And then what he's doing, he's actually playing the A, the A chord barred like that. So it's the low A string is open. And then you're barring the second fret. And you're barring the D string, G string, and B string. And then your high E string and your low E string is actually muted. This is a pretty standard G chord. This is a G5 chord. And traditionally, a full G chord would, be, would sound like this. But I'm not using my first finger, and I'm using my middle finger to mute that A string. So it's a nice, fat G5 chord. So in time, it would sound like this, and I'm gonna throw some effects on it. So then what Guitar One actually does next, he does this. So those are just uh, unison bends there. And what he's doing is um, he's actually fretting his first finger on the eighth fret B string. And then his, uh, his ring finger is on the 10th fret. So then what he's doing is he's bending a whole step there. And that's the third note in the scale. And then he's going to bend the second note of the scale by going two frets down and then bending that. And then he's going to go to the fourth of the scale and that is on the ninth fret B string and the eleventh fret G string. So in time, it would sound like this. And it goes down to the one, which is your D chord. So then what that, what that is, is his, it's his G chord. And he goes down to the third note. Some people like to play a D chord, a full D chord, and then play that note with their thumb on the second fret low E string. Um, and then you can also do, if you just want to add your first finger to that note and do kind of like a walk down, that also works. So I'm going to play that whole chorus by itself with effects.
So then guitar one, we go back to verse two, and that's pretty much the same as the, the beginning picking part. So then we go back into the chorus with the big chords, and then we go into, on my Helix, I have it, the snapshot labeled Chaos. And this is right before the bridge, where you just hit this big open chord, your D chord. And if you have a, a tremolo rod, that'll really help kind of create that chaos. So that really happens two different times in the song. It happens before the bridge, and then it happens before what I call the second bridge, which is later, um, probably 75% of the way through the song. And let me just give you some tricks that you can do to help give that musical feel of chaos. So you can use your tremolo rod to really get the, the notes to bend out of tune. Another thing you can do is you can use your pick to really scrape on the strings. Or you could do a mixture of both. Just to create that weird, like, chaos kind of everything's falling apart feeling. So then we get to that, like, second bridge, and it's, uh, it's like, live, live, na 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 na. he's doing there he's just doing octaves and uh, so the first octave happens on the sixth fret a string and the um, the eighth fret on the G string and I'm literally using every other finger to mute the other strings so those are the only two strings that should be ringing out now move that down two frets and then move that down a fret, and then another fret, and then it's all downstrokes of what I'm doing. So it's like really building, and then we get back into the chorus, and then we're back to the big chords. So that is guitar one. Let me grab my other guitar and I will teach you guitar two. All right, we're on to guitar two. So I got my trusty Telecaster with me and guitar two is tuned down a half step. So all of your strings, make them all flat by a half step. And now we are playing in the key of E, E shapes on the guitar. <laughs> we're going to get those nice, big, fat, crunchy chords. Onto the intro of the song. Guitar 2 is kind of out, but there are some ambient things that he's doing. He's doing some harmonics on the open strings. And how he does that is he's placing his fingers just above the fret on the 12th fret. And he's just creating some ambience there. And then that second position there is on the, and that second position there is on the 19th fret, both on the B and the E string. Just creating some ambience there in the verses. And the guitar two, he's actually using um, a tremolo, and I've got that here. So this is on the first chorus where it's, it's not big, but it's kind of there, and we're kind of building. This is kind of where Electric Guitar 2 really comes in. So Electric Guitar 2 is hitting the open E string. So what he's doing is he's hitting the 5th fret 
E string and the fourth fret E string. And then at another point in the song, he goes. To give it a cool effect, you kind of slide that off there. That's on the seventh fret E string and the fifth fret E string. So then what he's doing in the big choruses where it's all overdriven, he still has that uh, tremolo on there, but now he's got more distortion. And it's just big open chords. This is his E chord. And you can really find that on the internet anywhere. That it's just a basic E major chord there. And then he does. And that is just a root six major five chord. It's a power chord right there. So that is the B chord and the A chord to the E. So that takes place on the seventh fret down to the fifth fret, and then back to your E major. And then there's another point in the chorus at the last, at the last, he goes. Okay, and then what he's doing is he's lowering his first finger down a fret. Back to that big open E chord. So this is what it sounds like in context. And then he goes to the C sharp. This is just a basic C sharp root five bar chord that you'll find. And then down to your, this is a root five uh, uh, B five chord. And this, this is an, an A two chord. So how he plays that is he puts his first finger on the second fret D string and his ring finger or his pinky on the fourth fret G string. And he's playing the A string um, all the way open except for the low E string. So in context, it'll sound like this. Okay, does that make sense? During the chaos part, you really could do the same thing that I, I taught you um, earlier um, really helps to have a tremolo rod and it really does help to get kind of that feedback. Uh, they have the semi-hollow body, hollow body Gretsch guitars and it's a little easier to push that into feedback because uh, you got to have your amps really loud to have that. So it helps to have feedback. Um, I assume they were sitting right next to their amp because I saw him kind of kind of turn his guitar a little bit and I think his amp was right in front of him to really help get that effect. During that whole chaos part, he actually breaks out his slide and he actually slides up. Well, first what he does, he goes to the 12th fret. So it sounds like this. Kind of slide it around. And then another position that he goes to is the ninth fret and he's barring the ninth fret on the D string, the G string, and the B string. Does that make sense? So at the first bridge, he's really uh, kind of doing the same thing that he's doing in the chorus with all the big chords. And you can really see how he's fingering those. So I'm going to move on to the second bridge.
And that's kind of where we go into that, uh, that chaos sound again. But then we have that build part where it kind of sounds like this. <laughs> So he's really utilizing that open high E string in this case. And so he's, he's putting his finger on the fifth fret B string and he's playing, he's only ringing out his high B string and his high E string. So he's moving that down two frets, down to the D note, down a half step, down another half step. Okay. get the picture so when we go into the live live part his guitar is really dry and it sounds like this so how he's doing that is he's hitting the low E string twice down up and then he's playing a root 5 major chord E major chord and that's on the seventh fret uh, a string. Okay, so it sounds like this. So then after bridge two, we're back into the chorus with the big chords again. And you really use that to finish out the song. So I hope this tutorial helped you. It was a long one, but there are a lot of really cool parts and I'm really happy to see a really cool um, guitar song uh, for all of the uh, worship guitar players out there. I'm really thrilled to be playing this song. And it's just a great, great rock song in the church. So I'm really glad that it's here. So I hope that this tutorial helped you. And if it did help you, let me know. And if you have any other tutorial song suggestions, leave a comment below. And feel free, if you really like this video, drop a like and subscribe. We'll see you in another video.